Can we go back to the Russell Brand conversation? Love Russell so, fucking Brand. So what happened here? Andre set it up. He's the Andre, vegan god. Andre the vegan god and this girl Smiley Kylie. Uh, Andre was like, <laughs> Andre was like, hey, would you uh, would you want to sit down and talk with Russell Brand? And I'm a person who doesn't really watch podcasts or like long form content or really any like super motivational anything. Um, but I watch Russell Brand and I've I've watched a lot of him on Joe Rogan. I, I, I'm obsessed with his, I, I told him, our ability to articulate complex ideas. He's super eloquent. He really does have a way with words. I'm just going to play this clip here. This is just a small clip that we were talking about after the podcast because we talked a lot after. What am I supposed to be doing? What is my purpose? What is my purpose? You don't need to rush nothing. Yeah. 24 years old, yeah. all this exists. And why not become the biggest entertainer in the world? Why not do that? Do that. Try that. Live that. But then live with the question of what is it I really want? What is it? So in many ways, I told him, I was like, I don't really have a mentor. Like, honestly, the closest thing to a mentor I have is Mike. Um. So. But who, who like big brothers me, but I don't have a person. I don't really have anyone who I can like go to if I need like really internal uh, growth or yeah, like deep, deep. Yeah. Stuff. Like I, yeah, and I, and I said this on his podcast cause like I outgrew the point where I can rely on my parents for that stuff. Mom and dad, I'm sorry. I love you. It's just like given the circumstances of my life, this weird fucking world that I'm living in. It's like, it's hard. It's hard, and Russell's done a lot of shit, and so I really enjoyed my time with him. That podcast is coming out soon on his channel, I believe. Um, but what, that, what really intrigues you from like a lifestyle perspective uh, from Russell? From Russell, because like obviously he has massive <coughs> success with the traditional mainstream route. But no, now, he was—he was, I forgot he was married to Katy Perry. Yeah, he was. And I, I also really? forgot, I oh, also yeah. forgot oh, to yeah. tell him on his podcast that I hated him for a long time. Really? Yeah, because he was married to Katy Perry. And that oh, was my girl. I was 13 <laughs> yeah. years old, and California girls had just dropped it. She's spraying like cupcake frosting out of her boobs. I was like, this girl's amazing. I love her. She's the one. She's the one for and me. And you love cupcakes, too. And so. I love cupcakes. And, and at 13, I love boobies. Mm -hmm. So It's a dangerous So then I, all, of a sudden, all of a sudden, I see she's getting married to this guy, Russell Brand. And I forgot to tell him that I was like so jealous of him for the longest time. Still am, by the way. My favorite, my favorite line from him in a movie is, <laughs> is so aligned with... Uh, most people's sobriety, not mine, but I, I like it now because I'm sober again, which has been fun already. We're we two go. weeks now, yeah, you which look, is you great. Got, you guys look I feel great. great. I feel great. fucking great. But he says in uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which is one of my favorite movies, he's at, the, he's, at the, he's at the dinner in Hawaii and they go to, he, they offer him a drink and he goes, if I have just one sip of alcohol, that's, he says, if I have just one sip of alcohol, you'll find me in the back rimming a waiter just to get me ends on a rock. <laughs> and it's just, it's, it's such a classic story of like why addicts aren't supposed to drink. And I'm just, like, it's, I, I love him. I mean, he, cause he's got a, a, a massive addiction story in his past as well. Massive. Right. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's Heroin. What a lot of, yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of his stuff is focused on, he, he was, uh, he said four years he was addicted. Yeah. Were you able to travel to the metaphysical with him? He, he, is, he a, is he a middle ground or is he at the top level he, like Andre touched? He's middle ground. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you I why. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Because he, he, he gets it, bro. He's Does he he's root it in physical? Like, is he able to yes. root it in like. Yes. But also, really listen to what he's saying. Really. I, when he was saying it in person, remember that was when you started recording the Instagram story. I was listening. I was like, I was trying to follow. And then he, he got done with this like minute and a half. Uh, monologue about the metaphysical and co and conscious and connecting the two. And I, the, my first response was like, okay, you said a lot. You said a lot. And then when I watched <laughs> it back, I understood what he was saying and he's right. And he's right. I just think he's right. And it, so it sounds like, what do you guys call it? Like uh, foo foo. Uh, yeah, like woo woo stuff. Woo, I mean, woo woo. You guys have, you, you vegans have a name for it. It's like la la. Fugazi? No. <laughs> Blue, Blue said it to me before. It's like foo foo fairy stuff. Yeah, people. They're, Point is, they're floating. Yeah, yeah. So it, that's a great song. But yeah, he root, he roots in. Just uh, watch, watch, watch our podcast. Guys. Watch, watch his podcast too. Just like listen to Russell. He can help you. Yeah.